Hello, Karen Barber here, and I wanted to share with you an idea of how to bring God's shalom peace into your home this Christmas, and to also pray for the peace of Israel. It says in the Bible in Psalm 122, 6, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. I took a trip to the Holy Land this past summer, and while I was there, I purchased this scarf, which I had put around the tree, and this scarf says that Bible verse, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And I often would put this on as I prayed for the peace of that beautiful city where Christ walked and where he will come again. And so I decided this year to make my angel tree a piece of Jerusalem tree. At the bottom of the tree, I put some things that are symbolic of different parts of God's plan. Here's the menorah to show the Jewish roots. And it's just a little ceramic menorah. These little candles are actually birthday size candles. And beside them I have put some very interesting little salt shakers I came across once. These angels are holding different little animals. This particular an animal that this angel is holding is a little lamb. Interestingly enough, this angel over here is holding a baby lion cub. And that is from the Bible verse where it says, the lion shall lie down with the lamb. And so this is the peaceful thought from Isaiah about our world and about God's world. Behind it, I have put this little piece that I found that does say peace. And it has Jesus Christ over here, his birth into the world, representing the ultimate peace, which we are praying for. Also at the base of the tree, I have placed a globe. And to see the big world in God's hand and the very tiny piece of the world where Jesus walked and where today we go to find his presence. On the tree, I have put different things that also talk about peace. Of course, the dove has often been the symbol of God's peace and the Holy Spirit. Here is a picture that symbolizes the kind of peace that we're praying for. It symbolizes the difficulties of peace. This is a picture of the Western Wall in Jerusalem. The, the temple um, mount is above this beautiful retaining wall with huge rocks. At the base of this retaining wall is where the Jewish people go to pray and to get close to God. And on top is the Dome of the Rock, which is Muslim sacred site. So it shows the conflict between different religions and different ways of trying to reach God. But then also in Jerusalem, we find different quarters. This is from the Armenian quarter, which is, of course, a Christian quarter. This actually is a tile that was painted by a local artist. You notice on this Armenian cross, each one of the points has three different uh, knots on it to symbolize the Trinity. This is just a little piece right here of ceramic that I purchased in Jerusalem. And it has such a beautiful, vibrant city. And when you go there, you will see beautiful little trees along the outside. The place does, in fact, bloom because of the ingenuity of the people and of God's blessings. And here is Christ Pantocrator, Christ ruler of all. This is the ultimate that we want as we pray for the peace of Jerusalem, that Jesus Christ might be manifest and that many might come to know his saving grace because of the beauty of Jerusalem. And I've also placed here some dried hydrangeas to show how the deserts are blooming now and that how Christ's peaceful reign can come upon the earth. And to make this a place where I can actually go and pray, I've put beside it this little kneeler that I purchased at an antique store. You notice it's very, very low to the ground. You can kneel here, you can put your arms, and you can pray as you contemplate over the many symbols of peace on this tree. What I love about this kneeler is that it's very, very old and rough. You can see the indentations here where people's knees have knelt in prayer. And that's the way I like to think of our Shalom tree, as many of us kneeling in prayer, thinking about God's peaceful reign and about the peace of Jerusalem. 
Amen.